Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be doing a wig try on. But it's because I got a wig from Shine and I'm not quite sure what led me to this. But if you've ever shopped on Shine, you'll know that there's just a lot of stuff. You've got makeup, you've got accessories, you've got furniture, you've got plants, you've got dildos and you've got wigs. I was late night shopping one night and I ended up perusing through the wigs and I just thought I had to have one. I don't really wear wigs generally. I've bought a few in the past. I've, I've bought some from Amazon, I've bought some from AliExpress, I've even bought one from Wish and um, yeah I think they're fun just to wear but I've never actually left the house in one. Uh, just because uh, they looked shit, honestly, because they were really, really cheap. They're fun for like a novelty value or, you know, just for like messing about in the house in them or like the boys, they used to love trying on the wigs and pretending they were on the catwalk. So they were fun in, in that respect. But yeah, I never kind of seriously wore a wig, if that makes sense. But anyway, maybe this shine wig will be the wig to change my whole perspective on wigs. This could be the wig that makes me become a wig person. Like I could be a wig addict after this. This wig costs $14.99. It has a total of four and a half stars out of five. And that's from 2,388 reviews. This is the wig that I purchased. It's a medium length pink bob with a beautiful fringe. There's another angle. It looks like it's got a bit of a wave to it. I love the heavy fringe. I love the length. I've always wondered what I would look like with this kind of, you know, mid-length hair because I've always had long hair and I've been so tempted to cut my hair on a on a couple of occasions, but I've never quite done it. I've always had long hair. I can't imagine not having long hair, even though I wear it up most of the time. It's literally in a bun most of the time I never wear it down so I don't know I just don't cut it but anyway that's a whole discussion for another time you never know this could be the moment today where I finally have an epiphany yes I'm going to cut my hair we just don't know probably not but we just don't know yeah I love the pink shade pink is one of my favorite colors to have my hair I think she's looking happy in the wig she's looking a bit sassy like she's just kind of like feeling herself today she's like yes I'm all about this wig lifestyle. So, you know, she's given me some confidence right now, which is great. The wig has great reviews. We know that. Um, the, the model, she's feeling herself in the wig. She's really enjoying her time in the wigs, which is wonderful. This is how the wig came to me. It comes in this uh, plastic Ziploc bag, which that's okay. Mm, okay, yeah. I mean, she cost $40.99. So I'm not really expecting she's going to come in like a silk bag that I can reuse for things that I would want a silk bag for. We're gonna... Who is this? Okay, so this is her. Did you see how I just threw the box down? Just, yeah, I'm done with you box. We do not need you anymore. Okay, so she comes in this kind of a fishnet uh, situation. So I'm just going to take her out she definitely feels uh, really really soft if you're not familiar with shine it's very similar to aliexpress in that it's a app or the, they have a website and they just have a, everything you could ever want ever like literally even things that you would think oh no surely not surely shine won't have this you can guarantee it will uh, most of the products are very affordably priced you know what? She actually feels like really, really good quality. The colour of the hair in person, I would definitely say it, it's more of a dusky pink as opposed to the the kind of pastel uh, baby pink that we saw in the photos. But the hair itself actually feels really, really soft. In the past when I've bought wigs, the hair has always just felt a little bit dry and just not hair like or actually like my hair can feel dry at times so yeah you can just feel dry whereas this just feels like super super soft and silky I don't believe that this is a real 
hair wig because I think if it were real hair it would probably cost a lot more than $14.99. I love I love that how in America you call a fringe bangs. And f when I was younger I, I never used to know what it meant and I was like bangs what the hell are bangs but now I know that's just your word for wigs. Okay so this wig is 100% synthetic and it's 30 centimeters in length. So we've got the little wig cap um, underneath and the fixtures and fittings. I think that all that's left to do is for me to try this wig on and I'm so excited. Just to show you, this is my current hair. So this is like, that. that's me with the current hair. Just so that you can really appreciate the makeover that is about to happen. Okay, so I'm going to just pop my hair back into as flatter bun as I can make it. Okay, so I've just popped it into a bun and I'm just going to pull it out just so that it will be more flat to my head. Oh my gosh, do you know what? I have a, um, a WebEx meeting later. By the way, this is my lunch break from work. I'm working at home most of the time at the moment. So I have a WebEx meeting uh, with a couple of colleagues after lunch and I'm thinking should I just keep the wig on and like surprise them that would be fun I may do that they and I've only just dyed my hair back to blonde from the neon peach so they would just be thinking oh my gosh and when she she's just addicted to changing up her hair she just she cannot stop okay so I've kind of popped it on but as you can see I'm not a wig applying expert i just, I'm not sure, like I can just see bits of my own hair like popping on through. So I'm just gonna like just push them back. Now in terms of like fitting the wig, I, I'm not quite sure how I do this. So I'm just gonna kind of fumble about back there a bit until I can get something to attach to something else. Kind of like when I was learning how to put on a bra when I was 12. You know, you just kind of fumble about until you can... Oh, there we go, I've done it. Okay, okay. So she's feeling extremely secure to my head. Like, this is always a problem I've had in the past with wigs. They just never look like part of my head. They always look, you know, just like a wig, basically. But this one, it feels, like, really, really secure. Oh, my gosh, this is me with mid-length hair. Oh, my gosh, it feels strange. But do you know what? I don't dislike it. I feel like I suddenly look quite mature. Like, not mature as in old, but I just, I feel like I look a lot more responsible. Like, this is a person that you can trust to do something. Whereas, you know, usually I just look like someone that, you know, she has good intentions, but she may not successfully complete this task as you want it completed, you know? Whereas now I feel like, oh yeah, she can be trusted to do anything. You want me to deliver some documents? I can do it. You want me to print out some spreadsheets? Yeah, I can do that too. I can do anything you want. Oh yes, she can. Oh my gosh, and do you know what? I love the feel of this. It has a real kind of bounce to it. And also this wig is so much thicker than my usual hair. I have bleach to thank for my very thin hair. It just feels so kind of full of life and bouncy and Oh, I love having thick hair. Do you know what? This is definitely the first wig that I've ever tried that I would wear out and about. Like, I think she would look so cute with like a little uh, beanie hat on. And I could just go out and about and just be like, oh yes. Do you, do you know what? I love everything about this. I really, really do. Like, what do you think of how it looks? Like, do you think if you didn't know me, like say, you didn't watch the beginning part of this video and you've just ch tuned in. I always said churned. Are you making milk or cheese or something? But say if you just tuned in, would you know this is a wig or would you think, oh my gosh, I like that responsible looking lady's uh, mid-length pink hair. I can't really see the bangs because the bangs are like going off to the side a little bit. Sorry, I know you can hear my phone going bing, 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 bing. Even though I know I'm on my lunch break, everyone else 
does not know I'm on my lunch break. So they're just, you know, emailing as usual. Um, if only they knew I had this mid-length hair, then they would probably be emailing me a lot more for me to do things because they'd be like, oh yeah, she's so responsible. Oh my gosh, guys, I love, I love. I'm gonna just show you the look from behind. I mean, unfortunately I cannot see this. So this is like, the premiere of the wig from behind. I hope it looks good because obviously we've got the bun back there and I just don't know how is she looking, I don't know. Oh my gosh guys, I just, I love this. And then, like literally there's no way I thought that this was gonna turn out as good as it has. I just feel like it's so comfortable. Like yes, it definitely like feels otherworldly on my head like I could definitely like feel like oh yeah feels a little bit heavy and I can feel you know like the fastening around the back of my neck but actually that gives me a lot of confidence and I like being able to feel that because it says to me that this wig she ain't coming off no she's she's sticking around for the long haul so I kind of like that feeling of um tightness because it, it just reassures me that yes yeah, she is in place she ain't going anywhere so do you know what for 14.99 I am so impressed. The other wigs that I bought were, I think, it more expensive than this. I think. I definitely know that. I got this beautiful kind of, you know, pastel pink ombre wig from Wish. It was beautiful. Like, it was so long and it looked like the kind of wig an elf fairy would would have. Well, the elf fairy would not have the wig. That would, it would be like a natural hair. Um, it was so beautiful, but it was just so cheap and it felt so plasticky and it was just impossible to actually use because it would just get so tangled up from virtually nothing. It would just be tangled up from sitting in a cupboard somewhere. It would just be like a tangled mess. You couldn't push it out. You know, you couldn't try and look after it. There was just nothing you could do. Whereas this one, I just have more confidence in it. It just feels softer, more kind of realistically hair-like. I love these ways. The only thing that I don't really like is I don't like how I look with the bangs. I just don't think I'm a bangs kind of girl. It's just not, the bang lifestyle is not for me. So I definitely will just keep the bangs, you know, over to like, over to one side or I don't know, like I probably can't put them back, can I? No, that will just ruin everything. So I may put like a little clip there for the bangs to, you know, for the bangs to, to be stuck to just like oh my gosh just like that oh now she's looking cute oh my gosh guys do you know what i absolutely love this wig and i definitely definitely will be looking out for more wigs sorry i just i know i'm looking at you but i, I can't stop looking at this transformation but yeah i definitely will uh, have a little look see what other wigs they have on um shine sorry i was getting confused i was like alex best wish shine um yeah and i would definitely recommend like if you want to buy a wig or if you are new to wigs and you're thinking oh well i don't want to spend like loads of money getting like a professional wig what would be a good kind of starter wig i think this shine would be a good place to look just based on this one of course they have tons of wigs and the other wigs may not be that great like this could be pure fluke that this wig is actually really, really good. But um, yeah, I mean, I just think like this is so much fun and I'm definitely gonna keep it on for my meeting if I can and it not make it too awkward. I might just have my camera like recording me so that you can see the reaction or hear the reactions from people. So I may just do that if I'm feeling a little bit cheeky. Do you know what I mean? Cause it is Friday after all. But anyway, guys, <laughs> do you know what? I'm so, so happy with how this wig turned out i'm gonna wear it for when honey gets home I, I mean i may even go pick up the boys i may just keep this on for the rest of the day i think i just like surprise everyone but anyway guys um thank you so much for anyway thank you so much for watching the video i really really hope it was of interest to you and um yeah i just feel like i may have started a new obsession now uh, with wigs also i will make sure that i link to this wig down in the description box below just in case you wanted to go and have a look or you know you just well you just wanted to have a look that's probably the only reason why you wanted to see the link but anyway guys i'm gonna go thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in the next video Okay, so I'm just about to start my online meeting, so we shall see.
Will anybody notice my fabulous transformation? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a new person. Hello! You're muted, aren't we? Oh! <laughs> likes to change up her hair a lot but that was great yeah i'm just i'm just trying it out you know see it's great thank you so much it's very warm on my head <laughs> and I'm, it doesn't really look like a wig it's uh, you know it's a good one. Oh well thank you so much well i'm seeing how i'd look with mid-length hair as well because i've always wanted to cut my hair it makes me yeah. laugh that you think that as mid-length because that's me is still really long oh is it well, do you know what? Yeah. I'm like, I think I look more responsible with this hair, short yeah, hair. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so I think that they really love my wig. They weren't expecting it. Oh, I just, just worried then, thinking, oh my gosh, are they still there? Like, see, this is the problem with online web meetings. You never quite trust that you've logged out. And anyway, I think they are absolutely enjoyed the week so much.